Hi Leo, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am going to be doing your reading now. This is for the week of November 27th through December 3rd. This may not resonate with you because it's not a private reading. Okay, this is a general reading for hundreds and thousands of people that watch it. So it may not resonate, it may resonate bits and pieces. We will see what happens. This is intended to be a love reading. We'll see what comes up. I have pre-shuffled this deck and I feel like it is time to lay out the cards and I will zoom this in once I have the cards laid out. My tablecloth is bunching up and that bothers me. Okay, so the basis of your reading is the Fool reserve, Reversed. That tells me that some of you are afraid to take a risk. You're afraid to start something new. You're probably being asked to have some faith and to move forward and to do something, but you, you don't have the faith. You're scared to take a risk. Um, yeah, you don't have the faith. We have, we have these two sevens reversed right next to it. This faith, Sevens are faith. Okay, in the reverse, you've lost faith. Faith in yourself, because here we have the King of Wands. That could certainly represent a Leo, man or woman. It feels like you guys have lost some of your self-esteem or your self-worth or self-confidence or something. I see that you need to master your emotions. We have the chariot there. You really need to work on mastering your emotions, putting yourself in the driver's seat, taking the lead. Um, for some of you, there could be some travel in the future, but mainly what I see is that you need to regain control of your emotions. You need to replace fear with faith. This is replacing fear with faith, lack of faith, lack of faith. You need to replace fear with faith, okay? You haven't learned that lesson yet. When the world card comes out, it means there's a lesson, okay? But it's reversed. The world card, so... You haven't quite learned the lesson of how to replace fear with faith. You're getting there. You're headed in the right direction because we have the chariot card. You are headed in the right direction. But another seven. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. So you, you have to acknowledge the progress that you've made so far. Okay. You've come a long ways. You've been taking care of yourself. You have been changing many things. There's one more thing you need to work on. Replacing fear with faith. Self-confidence, self-worth, self and self-respect. Seriously, recognize your worth. Recognize your self-esteem, your self-confidence, your determination, your willpower, your discipline, who you are, okay? You are being given an opportunity for a new growth, okay? You are. From above, you're being handed this raw opportunity to grow something exciting, okay? What are you going to do? Are you, are you scared? Are you scared of the future? Are you scared of it? Because it looks like you are. You're, you're scared of something, okay? You're being given an opportunity. It could be a new partner where there could be a lot of excitement, but you just won't. You don't have self-confidence in yourself. It's like your your lack of respect for yourself is is hindering you from moving forward, okay? You really need to work on loving yourself. You do because this page of cups is reversed. It tells me that you want more, okay? You want love. You you really do. You want this true love. But you're not letting it happen you know what I mean it's because you're I don't think you feel like you're lovable enough you are you are you're apps you absolutely are you need to um forgive yourself forgive your past um let go of the past heartaches those are in the past 
The past is the past. The time is now. Live in the now, okay? It's time to bring balance back to your life. You can do it. All you have to do is master your emotions, okay? Don't be impulsive. Don't be in a hurry. Take your time, one step at a time, okay? There's no need to rush anything. There isn't. Perhaps you have lost your focus in some way. Maybe it just takes a minute to refocus, and then the plan will come into your mind, and you can start taking action. It feels like some of you have decided to just lay back and go with the flow and, and not really put action into changing things. Have you forgotten to replace fear with faith? I mean, have you just forgotten that and you're letting fear override? Because I see that there's, there's a lot of fear here, especially with these three cars. There's a lot of fear here, okay? Even though you've come a long way, you really have. I can see that. You haven't quite learned yet how to replace all fear with faith, okay? Faith in yourself, all right? You are a Leo. You are the lion. You are strength. You have it within you, okay? I think that there's been, there's been some kind of... Uh, challenges okay with this king of swords reverse there's been some challenges and perhaps there's been something that has been a little out of control just a little I don't see a lot you know I think there's been some impulsive behavior and I'm not sure if that's you or somebody else maybe somebody is trying to be too authoritative and you've backed off you're like oh you know oh you know, what am I supposed to do now? Because I, you know, what am I supposed to do now? Should I just totally, you know, it's like you're trying to keep your mouth shut. You are going through a period of growth. You are. It's absolutely, that is what is happening. You're growing in the last, one of the last steps for you to start your next new chapter, for you to have the major completion that is right in front of you, is replacing fear with faith. This is the major completion, the lesson learned, okay? That's the world card, it's the first card that came out. You must replace fear with complete, total faith. The self-doubt that you have is killing you. It's killing you. There's no need. Look how far you've come. You've come a long ways. This is self-doubt. There's no sense living in the past. I know I'm repeating myself, but this card says it too. You know, this is the Five of Cups. This is crying over a loss. Something didn't turn out the way you'd hoped in the past, and now you may have forgotten. You've been forgotten to be grateful for all that you do have. You know, you may have forgotten who you are and how far you've come. And I think we had this in the last meeting reading for you. You know? It feels like you are being offered love. You're being offered um, emotional support. And, you know, somebody is there to hold your hand. That's what it looks like. But you're just still feeling like you're not worthy. You are worthy. You're worthy. Okay? Keep nurturing yourself. If you're with somebody now, it's probably very practical. And I'm telling you this because I think you need to, don't quit. Don't quit. You're headed in the right direction. Replace your fear with faith. There's loyalty here. There is loyalty here. Let the past go. Whatever has happened in the past that makes you feel insecure or like you're unlovable or that you have to keep fighting, let it go. Let it go. I see for many of you, there is a commitment here. Somebody has committed. There's a commitment here. But you may be still feeling like you're unsure. You're unsure. And you may feel like 
things, something isn't right. You're feeling like something isn't right. Because of this temperance is reversed and this king of swords is reversed. And this is the commitment. This is the contentment. But this king of wands is reversed too. So it feels like you're overanalyzing. <laughs> you are. You're overanalyzing uh, somebody's commitment to you. You are. You're overanalyzing. And you don't need to be. It's just bringing challenges to the relationship. You need to let it go. Be grateful for what you have. Really. Be grateful. This is reverse. This is being grateful. When you can replace fear with faith, that's when you've been successful. I see success is coming. It is. Success is coming in regarding this relationship. This is a relationship for many of you, okay? It is. And I see that success is coming, but you need to bring back your self-confidence, your self-worth, your self-esteem, and replace fear with faith, okay? Stop crying over the past, let it go, and take the most practical approach. If you're single, there could be a new commitment with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, it feels like for some of you, somebody has done something very impulsive and hurtful, and you're at a point where you just can't you can't do it anymore. This is for somebody. It's like you I don't know who it's for, but somebody can't do this something anymore. It's like I, you're at your wit's end and you can't do it. You're ready to move on. There's no more growth. But the fact of the matter is there's growth somewhere for somebody. There's growth somewhere. It could you could have a choice between two people because we have the two of pentacles here. It, it, there certainly could be and then we have the three of swords. So somebody could have broke your heart and now you have to make a choice as to what direction to go. Okay, you you've had you you're at your wit's end, and you know that the you can't you can't be stuck in the past anymore. Okay, because there's there's more for you. You're looking for something where you can where there's actually growth in a relationship, and um, there will be for somebody. There is new growth. There's like a new sexual partner here, but I think that you have to leave the past bef behind before you can embrace with that partner. Okay, and you and by doing that, you have to replace your fear, fear of whatever's going to happen if you follow your own path. Okay, that's what I, the fear is here is like you want to do something else, you want to do something new, but you're scared of what's going to happen if you do. All right. Interesting. Love who you are. Love who you are. Libra had this card as well. You are a divine and wonderful person, deserving all of the wonderful things that life has to offer. Be your own advocate. Believe in yourself. Love who you are. And the energy of self-love will help you realize your dreams. And I see that your dreams are on your mind. You have dreams. Okay? Real dreams. Dreams of growth. Dreams of the future. Dreams of real love. You have these dreams of not being stabbed in the back. But you're scared to move forward. You're scared to take that leap. For fear of what will happen if you do. But right now, you're very unhappy where you're at. And I don't know who this is for. It's for somebody. Somebody is very unhappy and they are ready to close a door. But they're scared of what will happen if they do. Even though they want to. When was the last time you gave yourself a pat on the back? Or acknowledged that you love yourself? When? When? Look how far you've come, Leo. 
You deserve to be loved fully. Let the past go. Working on a good relationship with yourself will enable you to have a positive relationship with others. Keep nurturing yourself. Keep loving yourself. Love who you are. Follow your journey. Take a risk. Don't be afraid. Let go. Let go. Take a risk. Replace faith, fear with faith. Okay? You've reached a finish line with this world card. All you have to do is step over it. I hope you enjoyed your reading, Leo. If you want to know more about me, you can watch my welcome video on Soul Source Tarot or my Let's Talks or join my group. Talk to you later. I hope you enjoyed your reading.